Hello YouTube and welcome to my tutorial on CD Burner XP. This is part review, part tutorial, and today I just want to show you a little bit about the program. Now, CD Burner XP is a free software and it is very good. Uh, it's been around for quite a while. They've had multiple versions and it only seems to get better. Now, I use more advanced software, usually like alcohol 120% or virtual drive software. Um, if you don't know what that is or you'd like me to make a video of, you know, something, just shoot me a message on YouTube and I'll gladly do that. Anyways, CD Burner XP allows you to make ISO images or burn a CD or DVD with your content on it which is one thing that I use it for because alcohol 120% or at least the version that I have does not do that now we're just gonna go into data disk here this is after I've installed it uh, click OK now here are is our two browsers this you can navigate to whatever you might need this is gonna point mainly to your desktop at first now I've already selected a folder with mods, Fallout 3 mods, and um, let's say that I want to drag these four files, just drag them down here, and boom. Now it shows down here how much you have, how much you've used, and how much space is currently, you know, <clears throat> too much for your current data project now it's showing up here and this is a good example I have a DVD movie in my DVD drive so it's saying that all of this is already used up and I've exceeded my limit so that's very good so if you want a mp3 CD you know you'll know exactly when you're over it's not just numbers down here it gives you a visual which is good for a lot of newbies and most people but you know over on the side here you can double click this and name your disk like I don't know 252 or whatever you want um, in this case we are ready and burn the existing compilation leave the disk open and finalize the disk uh, it does exactly what it says it allows you to add more data at a later time this doesn't always work and uh, if I'm making a CD I usually just finalize it because I know that that's what I want and I'm not trying to add anything to it later so let's finalize this and notice how it says not writable as I explained before um, Normally a window will just pop up here give you a couple of options whether you want to record it to your desktop you just select the directory and it will write it to your desktop or whatever hard drive that you might have present at that time. Um, if you want to burn a disk it will automatically go into that and it will set you up and uh, that's CD Burner XP. I'm not going to actually burn a CD on this this time but I hope you like it and um, if you think that this video helped you or you like the software please come back and comment and subscribe thank you